It's 10 in the morning and Tom is restless as a child, wanting to get out and play. Wilson, his keeper, patiently coaxes him to settle down. This 20-year-old rhino paces the floor of his paddock and keeps knocking at the metal gate with the stub of his horn. Tom? Keluar sudah. Ya, beli ini. Dia sudah format. <laughs> format ini simpan. <laughs> dia ada timing jam dia lah. Semua. Wilson has been working at this interim rhino breeding facility at Tabin Wildlife Reserve for less than a year, and he's already getting attached to Tom and two other rhinos, a female named Punto meaning stump in Malay, and an old female Gologo. These Sumatran rhinos were captured and translocated to the rhino sanctuary for breeding. Since 2009, the Borneo Rhino Alliance, Bora in short, has been racing against time to curb the rapid extinction of these sub-mammals. Scientists have estimated that only 200 of them left in the wild with a meager population of less than 40 in Central and East Sabah. It was with the help of private funder like Yayasan Saim Darby, who provided 5 million ringgit for the past three years, that conservation work at the sanctuary was able to move forward. Ada masa tu kalau umur dia bagus dia macam ada macam bok main main macam gurau gurau. Kalau yang dia langgar langgar kepala di badan macam badan yang ni kan, dia mau macam dia mau main tu. Jadi dia balik dia mood tak bagus, marah marah lah. Ting muka dia pun boleh tahu. Dia punya telinga tak gerak lah, ekor dia tak gerak. Dengan mata dia semua macam tajam lah. In December last year, these efforts took an encouraging turn with the capture of a female rhino Puntong. Puntong is about 12 years old, with the front foot missing. Whatever hope she presented then has taken a backseat when the Bora team found Puntong having problems with her uterus and surgery is needed before any attempt to help her conceive. She stays out in her wallow outside the paddock most of the days as the ground is softer and the mud in her wallow is better for her stump. Except for Gelogop, Puntung and Tom are let out of their paddocks to go to their wallows in the jungle daily. They have been conditioned to go and come back after four to five hours. To a rhino, a wallow is sacred. It's a sacred place. It's the cleanest place for, for a rhino. It's where they spend most of the day and even uh, at night. So it's sacred and nobody comes and disturb them in the wallow. Okay? Even uh, wild boar, even macaques, they, they get very annoyed. That includes human beings. Like eager parents, the team at the sanctuary waits for Tom to return each day cleans him up and feeds him. The team is also looking forward to Tom siring a baby rhino soon.